As most people probably know, a tree is mainly divided into three parts. The crown, the trunk and the roots. Let's find out what role each of these parts play in keeping the tree healthy and also supporting the surrounding ecosystem. The crown starts at the point where the first branches emerge from the trunk and also includes leaves and the fruits. The crown comes in different shapes and appearances that can be divided into five common crown types which all have different characteristics. The weeping crown has thin branches that droop downwards. Examples are willows and white birches. Full crown trees have a balanced shape and an even number of branches like maple trees. Pyramidal crowns are characterized by a wide base crown that thins out towards the top like a spruce. The spreading crown is often wider than it is tall which makes them perfect for shade trees. Examples here are oak trees. And lastly there are also columnar crowns which have upright canopies and short side branches with roughly the same length. A good example here is the Italian cypress. Like we mentioned before, part of the crown are branches which have among others two main functions. Those are the support for the leaves and fruits and secondly the transport of nutrients between the trunk and the leaves. The leaves come in many different shapes but appear in a green color most of the time because they contain the color giving plant cell chloroplasts. These are the parts of the plant that do photosynthesis. During that process they assimilate light energy and absorb carbon dioxide from the air to produce oxygen and energy for the tree itself. The trunk is the solid vertical section of a tree which connects the crown and the roots while also giving structural support to the crown. Another function is to transport or sometimes even store water and nutrients. To get a better understanding of the trunk, let's have a look at the layers of a tree. The hardwood is the central and supporting pillar of a tree, so it is basically the spine of a tree. After the hardwood is a ring of wood referred to as sapwood. Sapwood consists of recently formed wood lying between the hardwood and the inner bark. It is the largest layer in terms of mass and diameter. Water and nutrients pass through the sapwood towards the crown as it is soft and alive. Some trees also store excess food in there. Cambium is the secondary growing layer of a tree trunk and is positioned between the sapwood and the phloem. It consists of actively dividing cells that are utilized by other actively growing layers. The phloem layer consists of living tissues in the trunk and is placed between the cambium and the outer bark. It has multiple functions with the most important being responsible for distributing organic nutrients. The outer part of a tree trunk is called outer bark or also cork, which consists of dead tissue and is there to protect the inner vital layers. As the last part of the tree we have the roots, divided into the root collar, stability roots and feeder roots. The root collar is simply the part of a tree where the roots join together and connect to the trunk and can therefore essentially be assigned to the trunk itself. Stability roots are the ones that go far into the soil to give the tree structural support. They consist of the thickest roots and either go very deep or spread very wide, so trees can even safely stand on loose soil. Once the stability roots become rotten or underdeveloped, it often leads to tipping over of the whole tree. Feeder roots are smaller and thinner roots, but they are denser than the stability roots. They are primarily responsible for water and nutrient absorption from the soil. I hope this short video helped you to get a better understanding of every part of a tree and what it is responsible for. If you did, please click on the like symbol below the video. And if you want to get even more information on trees or in general about forests, I recommend you watch my video about all types of forests and why they are so important. Also you can check out all the sources in the description box down below. On the way down there feel free to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out on new videos and everything nature and wildlife. It is free and only takes one second to do. But most importantly, have an absolutely fantastic fantastic rest of your day.